and there's silence because I'm at a load screen. But sound effects seem to be playing. So here we are. We are jumping back into this. Welcome back to our playthrough of Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. The HD, not remaster, just version. The HD, I don't know what you call it if it's a remaster. I don't know. Anyway, here we are. Let us change our skin. Let's go back to classic for now until we know what we're doing. And here we are. Where are we? We've gone because we are at our full golden cog amount. Everything else is pretty good. So let's head back to where we were. I'm going to sit for a bit further back just because... I'm a little close. So let's... Oh, no. Thought I'd glide further than that. I've been playing Minecraft in my spare time. And on Minecraft, you... You can glide really far. Well, I'm glad, Vanessa, you had a good Christmas, uh, given the circumstances. Yeah, I think everyone's kind of feeling that. Um, I know we certainly were, and my wife's family were feeling that particularly. Um... But nonetheless, we made the most of it. We are Brits, after all. Stiff upper lip and we carry on, don't we, I suppose. So, last time, we finished... I want to call it Snow Worries, because that sounds like an Australian thing to say. I've actually been mistaken by a few people. Yeah, Snow Worries. I've been mistaken by a few people for being Australian. Because I always go, yeah, 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 no worries. No worries. So, yeah, so I've often been confused for being Australian, even though I'm actually, you know, pretty much entirely English. Um, often Americans make that. So, I'm going to throw this over to the chat once again. We have Bridge on the River Ty, rather than Bridge on the River Styx, and Outback Safari. Where do we go, ladies and gentlemen? There's only two of you, so I'm not going to bother putting a poll out, but... If you just sound off in the chat, let me know where you think we should go. I might turn my light up just a little bit. Just because I'm sitting a little further back. There we are. So, Outback Safari or Bridge on the River Tye. Where are we heading? I don't know if there'll be animals, Stephanie, but we could certainly do Outback Safari. Oh, uh, Bridge on the River Kwai. Yep. Yep, yep. You're absolutely right. It's definitely that kind of pun. I am not that versed in pop culture. Bridge on the River Kwai instead of Bridge on the River Tai. Ooh, disagreement in the chat. I'm going to go with Bridge on the River Tai because, one, puns, and two, I think Steffi's going to be disappointed by the lack of animals in the Outback Safari. So... We will go with Bridge on the River Quiet. And Steffi makes a very good point, again, that... There's nothing quite like a moonlit billabong. Except maybe a moonlit billabong full of giant roaches, spiders and bats. Charming. Here we are. Let's flip through some rangs. Let's the flame orang seem like the perfect choice for this. Ah, you sneaky box. We learnt last time that boxes are sneaky and hide in weird places. Oh, what do you want, Maury? Good day, mate. This is the home of me old mate, Dennis the Cheapskate. Uh, well, <coughs> sorry, Dennis. I, I mean, Green Tree Frog. <laughs> <laughs> He has got the biggest thundering collection this side of the black stump. I've tried to convince him to give some up, but he's too precious with them. I'm of sure if he, he is. did some odd jobs for him, he'd be happy to throw some your way. You know so I'm an errand I mean? boy today. Leave it to me, Maury. Leave it to me. So the movie is quite a dreary one. I'm thinking of the right movie. It's about pals. Building a bridge which will enable the enemy to advance further on allied forces. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious me. Okay, well, hopefully this is a little more cheery than that movie. I'm sure we'll be fine. Now, I remember you. 
you take two. And I have to hit them with the flame around because it sets their cricket bat to light. Because, you know, Australia. So, obviously, cricket. Oh, gosh, there's stuff in the water. Oh, goodness. Okay, right. This is going to be a big lot of exploration. Booyah. Invisible box there for the infrarang whenever that shows up. Right, I'm just keeping an eye on where the river is and how long the river's going to stick there for because otherwise I feel like I'm going to... Ooh, I didn't like that sound. But yeah, I just need to keep an eye on that river so that I know to jump in and collect those opals when I'm about to like leave the area, as it were. There you go. They're not that hard. These things are cute, though. I like them. Right, we're about to leave the area. So, golden cog. Oh, I think we're going to have to go up here to get that golden cog. That's fine. Okay, we're not quite leaving the area, but... Close to. It's weird how there's a delay in their bats actually catching fire. They also thud. Oh, they properly thud. Right, so let's get this. Oh. Maybe not then. I can't remember what they are. Sefi says they look like mini storks. I can't remember exactly what they are. Oh, I forget the name of them. They're like um, Ilbi Ilbis or something. And yes, you guys are right. The fact is, it gets harder as we go along. So of course, it is going to be harder for me. Oh, and I just fell. So of course, it's going to get harder to make the collector thongs. But still, as long as it's not as hard as Crash, I think we're okay. <laughs> right, come on. Right, where's the edge? There's the edge. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Ibis, that's the one. Diving under. So that's what I think they are. I think they're Ibis. Checking for secret passages. I think this is probably just going to be an opal collection. Ooh, a couple in the waterfall. Nice and sneaky there. At least they glow when they're not in boxes. That's the problem not often is boxes. The boxes. Ah! Gotta love that. And for those of you, I believe the title of this video is You Flaming Gla. We learnt, we, we heard the word Gla at the end of the last video, last high stream. And I learnt that the word Gla is a type of bird. But what it's mainly used for is as a slang term for someone who is a, f a fool or an idiot. Um, so it's a slightly derogatory term, but that's what it's for. And if you're a flaming gla, I believe you are there for someone who is... I believe the idea is it's someone who is okay with making a fool of yourself. And purposely makes a fool of yourself. You are a flaming gla. So there we go. Things you things you didn't know. It break dances, how cute. It does indeed break dance, Steffi. They are very cute little country bumpkins, which again seems weird to me that there's country music and country bumpkins in a game based in Australia, because that's not typically what you would see. Oh goodness, okay. Catch a light, catch a light, and die. Okay, that's you. Is that seriously just the end of it? Oh, no. There's an invisible box here, I see. So, like, it's weird. The invisible boxes are strange because they have, like, property. So, I can stand on it. And, like, I can set it on... Oh! What? Wait, so I've been able to collect these this whole time. I didn't think I could do that. I thought I had to have the infrarang for them. Oh, 
I thought I had to have a... Yeah, I didn't think I could just do this and get the pictures. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, that's going to be annoying because there's about nine of those per level. So we are going to have to do some backtracking at some point anyway and get those. But I'll probably do those a little later down the line um, rather than now. We won't do it all today or focus on it too much today. Because I think, yeah, the idea is that some of them might be quite hard to get. And you have to have the infrarang. But I don't know. Or am I... Inf or am I thinking about the infrarang as something in the new game. Ugh, I might just have to... It is a bit of a game change. It's also a bit annoying because I've been walking past a lot of them. Because I've been walking past them just thinking, oh, I can't get them yet, when actually I probably could have killed them with my zoomerang or broken them with my zoomerang. To get the ones that are far away. So I am just going to have to go about on a bit of a collectathon at some point to gain all the pictures. But that's okay. We'll get there. Oh, Australian spiders, man. They're scary old things. And I don't like those noises. Those noises are not nice. Right, Let's carry on then. Well, we'll see. As I say, I need to double check how many photos there are per level. The honest answer is I don't know. Um, and that will determine how we go about doing the um the backtracking segments, as it were. That is frustrating. But as I now know I can at least break them. I will break them every time I see them. And if you guys see an invisible box that I don't, please do shout out in the comments. This is nice. Chill, chill music. Nothing hidden in there. Oh, okay. Thought I was going to make that then. Do 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 do. Damn it, again, I was just jumped a little early. Oh, really? Gosh, this place is huge. There you go. I did try going left steppy, but that was not the way to go, I learned. You're scared of another frog. You are a frog. Uh, oh, um, uh, yes. Uh, could you kindly escort me home? No worries. But what that does do 
is raise certain questions. What determines whether the animals are sentient or not? So we've got butterflies over here. We've seen ibis. We've got frogs. What determines whether they're fully sentient or what? Or whether they are, um, you know, like, Thai. And, like, or whether they're just animals. I don't understand. Another one of them. Lovely. Right, so I believe the idea is using the flamerang to get you all the way home. And we'll explore while we do it. Bum, ba -da -bum. Nice, nice, nice. So, for example, oh gosh, now there is a whole upper platform here, but I'm probably going to leave a lot of these things until a bit later. You see what I mean? You've got these. These invisible boxes, which now I've learned I can just break if I see them, which is so annoying. Because I was so convinced that it was a, um, you had to have a special rang for it. And I think that is the case in later games. Where's he gone? Oh, he's going all the way back. Oh, flip me. Yeah, you really do have to, um... Yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to get too distracted. I'm literally just going to have to kind of go through, get him finished, and then come back and do all these bits. Because the light, the fires only last for a certain amount of time. There we go. And because I'll never really have to go into all the all the water at some point. Right, where's the next one of these things? Here it is. See, I don't like this, because what this means is I, is I have to do this mission and do it at a relatively good pace. Because otherwise, I will miss out. So, one minute. Let's have a look at the games. 20 pictures in this level alone. Goodness gracious. Okay, interesting. So yeah, there are a lot of pictures, and I believe the pictures are basically behind the scenes artwork. So it's more for the completionist in me that wants to collect all those as opposed to a like game changing ending. Yes, you did. You did. But I have a magnificent collection of thunder eggs. I insist that you have one. Hooray! It's almost like I needed that. I love that people in this game don't really grasp like the importance of um 
Okay, so something has to happen there. They don't realise the importance of the Thunder Eggs past. Oh dear, this isn't good. My hot water system there we go. has given up the ghost. The pilot flames must have gone out. Could you find a way to fire up the gas again? I'm allergic to gas. Otherwise, I'd do it, you know. Of course. Yeah, okay, no worries. Even Ty's fed up with your bowl. <laughs> okay, how do we get you? Hi, this is Dennis. I'm sorry, but I've stepped out to take a bubble bath. If you could leave your name and number at the sound of the beep, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Ciao. Oh, right. Well, okay then. So how do we get up there? Not that way, clearly. That's the exit. The sound effects in this level seem really off. Like, they are not as they should be. Right, how on earth do I get up there? Or is there going to be... Because it feels like they've... Um, oh, no. Just jump straight up. Oh, no. Not quite. Ow. Because it does feel like they've left, like, clues and stuff in order to... Like, they've got other platforms there. So, how? Yeah, because I'm hooking onto the wood, not onto the... There we are. Don't know if that was the way I was meant to do it. But it's the way I did it nonetheless. Cool. Well, that's this bit, so let's carry on exploring, get some pilot lights, all that sort of jazz. Figure out what on earth we're doing. Well, we're getting there. Yeah, so we've got a few. We've got a few to get in this one, and a few pictures. Where are we, where are we at? Ten. Goodness gracious, that's going to be a pain in the butt to backtrack for, but nice time to chat. what's over this way. Let's find out together. Boom. Oh, goodness. Okay, you so shouldn't be here, Ty. This is where Neddy lives. Neddy. Yes, Neddy. He's the biggest, toughest bully this side of the black stump. Well, he doesn't sound so tough. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Ty. Now you've riled him. Great. Let's take him out. First box. For me, what was my favourite Christmas present? Oh, goodness. Now, this is a tough pot spot because my wife is in the chat. <laughs> so, uh, puts me in a slightly difficult position. No, uh had to pick a favourite Christmas present, what would it be? Problem is now, my mind goes blank and I've forgotten everything I've got. Hmm. I mean, I'm really thankful to have the Muffin Time game by Tom Scar, which, um... Uh, okay, so I do have to do the one right back at the beginning. I should have done that. Ah! You're under there. Um, so Muffin Time's a great, funny little card game. Very, very different, but that's a lot of fun. So I've really, I've already played it a couple of times. But loving that. I 
I like practical edition Disney merch. Mike got me a cute backpack with Disney landmarks and characters on it. Oh, that's wonderful, Vanessa. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, no, I'm similar. A lot of my presents are kind of practical. So, like, these headphones are for work and for this. But, you know, very, very practical from that perspective. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I've got some other camera bits, like um, hand stabilizers and stuff, which I got from my in-laws. But I do, like, these headphones are fantastic. This would definitely be one of the top of this year, I think. Just because the quality is so high. Like... And they're not noise cancelling, but I'm struggling to hear myself just speak, which is, you know, wonderful. Ho, ho, ho! Trespasser am orange rat, puny rat, no match for Nettie. Nettie clobber him good! Ooh. Okay. I don't really know how I'm meant to clobber you, but sure. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Ow. Ah, oh, there we go. Flame rang on his butt. There we are. Lovely. Okay, so this is how we do it. Right. There we go. And a bullseye. What? Orange rat beat Nettie. Oh, Nettie, oh. I'm so ashamed. Here, Nettie gives shiny rock to new friend. All right. I am a Tasmanian tiger, sir. Big Nettie. What have you all said? Steffi got an Alexa and a beautiful coat. Alexa is handy for cooking timers. Yeah, we use um, Alexa for cooking timers a lot. This is um, actually for, for the bedroom, so Steffi can have... Uh, music and ha it has a we got the one with the display the clock display so she can use it as her clock and her alarm because uh, her old one was an old iPod speaker thing that was like this big so it was much easier to just have this tiny little Amazon Echo Dot which is fantastic <laughs> and of course Steffi's there bringing down the tone with always aim for the butt <laughs> always aim for the butt everyone Wise words were never spoken. Wiser words were never spoken. Right, well, let's figure out where we go from here, then. Oh! Hello, Rex! Good day, mate! Dennis some diving lessons, but he chickened out. Well, who can blame him? You know, Ty, it's high time you learned how to dive. All you have oh. to do is run and press the jump button near the water's edge. Then press the oh. bite button to do a dive. See if yeah. you can dive into that yellow crate. I've already learned to dive by watching you. I just guessed that it was a mechanic I could do. Um, I dived onto the yellow crate. Apparently that didn't count the first time, but sure. Bonza, you're a Bonza! If you're up to the challenge, why don't you try the Super Tower High Dive? Sure. Where is it? Here's oh, you're just gonna take me. Go for it. Top of the Super Tower and pass through each of the rings on the way down. If you get them all, I'll give you a thunder egg. Oh, you beauty! You beauty! Oh my gosh, that is that is terrifying. I don't think I could ever dive from that height, ever. Even if I, like, knew I'd be fine. Well, that was easy. That was a pearler of a dive. I tell you what, mate. You'd give the Pippi Beach nippers a run for their money. Here, you've earned this. Ripper! Nobody is surprised that Dennis chickened out of that for sure. Cool, well that was something fun. Oh, we got some more pilot lights over here. Yeah, 
yeah, so I'm gonna have to go back to Dennis's um, house. Because I missed the one that was directly next to him. Because I didn't realise I had to light them. But that's fine. Because we're only we're just back at the beginning bit of this section now. Which is fine. Right, there's a golden thing up or golden cog up here. How do we get up to you? Oh, I bet I have to jump off the um thing to get that. In order to get up here, lovely. Nice shot. Oh, and to you. Boom. Yeah, the hitboxes for those are a little off. I'm kind of tempted just to get all the above water stuff before I head under underwater. Oh, no. I said that and then found a golden cock. So I'm like, nope, want that. <laughs> yeah, everyone's jumping in with yeah, jumping off the bridge. Yeah, sorry, my my puzzle brain was was working. I'm slowly figuring out how this game works. No, dang it! Stupid bet. There we go. Right. There we go. Shoot you out the sky. Thank you very much. Oh no, because it dipped. Goodness, this is going to be a nightmare. Right. Right, yeah, because it dips like that, so I've got to be... No, dang it, come on. Right, come on. And I can't hang off it either. So it's not letting me hang off the side and pull up. So how do I do that? Hmm. Oh, goodness. Is, am I doing... Am I missing something? I don't think I'm missing anything. Yeah, because I can't hang off it. So way to stabilize the platforms. I don't believe so. Like, I may be wrong, but it's because they're just on floating barrels. So I think it's just a mechanic. And jumping doesn't work without diving. Don't see anything under here that's going to help me. Oh, hello. Button, what do you do? Oh, I think that's meant to help me get those things, but I've already got them, so whoopsie. Okay, well, nothing under here that helps me do that particular bit. Hmm. That tree's not going to help, and I don't think the tree behind is going to help as well either, because they all look quite... Yeah, I keep feeling like I'm close, but...
No, that didn't work. I was just trying something. I just wanted to see whether it would launch me forward or whether it would launch me down. You can't push the platform. Uh, you, it has to be a button control to do it, but I don't believe there is one for this particular. Yeah, I just... I'm too low, and it's not letting me grab it. Hmm. Because, look, yeah, if I try and push them... I wonder if I try and get that side, whether it'll hook me on. If I try and land on that edge there instead. Nope, apparently not. You know what? I know that's there and it's an easy place. I'm going to come back to it. Just because I'm fed up of that particular piece right now. We will figure it out. And if we find a solution down the line. That, that blue button is miles away. So, yeah, look. So, this blue this thing is now flowing all around the place. Which I think is how I get those. Maybe. Let's jump on it and see. See where it takes us. Because, yeah, it'll be how I get this thing. Thank you, sir. I think it's meant to help you get those primarily. And then it will help get that, which is fine. Okay, fine. So that's that. And does it, it doesn't go that way. So I wonder if there's another switch somewhere that's going to help me get those. We'll have to explore and see. I bet there is. There's probably some more switches around under the water, which I'll get in a sec. That'll help me get certain things. And that's all part of the fun. Commandeer the croc. I would love to be able to commandeer the croc. However, he is a little bit scary, so I, I somehow think he's probably going to want to eat me more than anything. Now, there was a, a golden cog over there, wasn't there? that we have to get from here. So I will go and get that, but first I'm going to just get this pilot light that I missed. There you go, seven of eight. So there's only one more other than that one over in the corner. Right, time for some underwater action now, I think. Let's follow the opals. Just a little bit of health, that's fine. Yeah, this is my, my usual bit. Right, where else? Is that it for underwater? Seriously? No, there must be more. So look, you've got all of these up here. And nothing around them. I can't, I don't jump high enough to collect them. So there's got to be a platform that comes flying around here. How and why? Oh, there's another invisible box that I missed. Doesn't appear to be any more underwater though, so.
Oh. I did not notice that. Thank you. And there was one up here that I saw. Yeah. There's a couple here, actually. There's a couple in the arena, I believe. Or at least, yeah, there's two in the arena. <laughs> just barge into him and he just goes oh. <laughs> doesn't do anything I can literally where's my multi rang Yeah, that's it. You take it. Oh, that's so... That's weird. Weird that he's so static. He doesn't even have, like, a re reaction. Very strange. Right. But what I noticed was this. Bam, bada, bam. <laughs> I don't know how I'm good at spotting those boxes. I just seem to have a knack for it. Oddly. Can't explain it. I can just kind of... It, it's... Problem is, seeing them against the sky is near impossible. But if you notice them against something like a dark backdrop like that, suddenly they're visible. And I think that's something they, they may have changed in later games, is that you have to have the infrarang or the X-rang. And with that rang the boxes become, or with the X-Rang, the boxes actually become, like, visible. So, they're invisible, but then when you hold the X-Rang, they become visible. Right, well, here we are. So, we've got the last pilot light here. So, I now need to go back to him and collect my reward. Right, I've got to chase another turkey now. That's going to be fun. There's two turkeys, which is not ideal, really, because I'm going to imagine that two turkeys means that they will swap. See what I mean? Turkey, turkey, turkey. Boom. Give me... Oh, what? Oh, seriously? Seriously? Boom. Give me the thunder egg. No! Thank you. Cool. So I need to get my thunder egg from... Is there no race in this level? I'll have to transport back to the beginning and see if there's a race in this one. Right, so we need to get back to Dennis. And collect our other Thunder Egg. And then we just need to see kind of where we're at. As I say, we may need to go back to the beginning anyway. We need to figure out how we get that. Because I don't get why he doesn't do that off the cliff side. Get back to Dennis the Cheapskate. I mean, Green Tree Frog. We all know that guy who's actually quite well off. But for some reason, he magically forgets his wallet wherever he goes. Superb. Now I can make a nice hot cup of tea. Thank you, Ty. Here's a little something that I insist you have. 
It's from my magnificent collection of thunder eggs. Grass eggs! What? What did he say? Grouse as? I don't think I've ever heard that. Ever. Even from Australians. <laughs> right. So. Where are we at? Five invisible boxes. We need 300 opals and the time attack. We got 300 opals. Also, we can return the opals to the machine to get that. Uh, we're short five invisible boxes. Flip me. That's going to be hard. Um, and we're missing two golden cogs. But one of those golden cogs will be the one that we're struggling to get. So, let's first go to the opal machine. Which is near here somewhere. There it is. Because then we can get this thunder egg. We will use those teleporting mushrooms to get back to the beginning. In order to collect the, um, do the time trial. And then it's just about finding that last golden cog after that. Again, I might do another quick scout under the water. I just don't know. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Because this game isn't doing a lot where it's like, oh, you need to um, backtrack. It's not doing a lot like, oh, once you have this, you can backtrack and it's a lot like... Because I know that with the freeze rang, I think you can make ice platforms, which would make this all a lot easier. But I feel like I'm meant to be able to get that. Hmm. Curiouser, curiouser. Let's just do a quick, no, another dive underwater and just see what we can find, if there's anything else we can find here. And if not, we will, um, go back to the beginning to get the time trial. Is there another platform in the air? I don't think so. I think that was just the one to get that mechanic, that bit going. Because it's like, it's one of those things, it is technically close enough, but only just, which is why I'm sitting there going, mm, something feels like it's just not quite connecting properly. So like, this guy's not moving. And I'm like, is he meant to move or is he literally just a platform for the sake of having a platform? But you can't do anything with them. You have to have, like, the special... Um, you have to have a button or something to move them. So, yeah, there's like, nothing here. Because this is the deep part, and then this is where that button was over here. Which now doesn't do anything more. Hmm. I may have to do a, a quick search on that. But we've got another golden cog to find anyway. So. We will just continue. To look. You see, yeah, there's nothing else around there. The idea, I think, is literally just use those platforms. And to run around. But. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Let's teleport back to the start. Do the time trial. And we'll do a run through of the level and double check for more golden cogs. Here we are. Time trial. Even the cockroaches here like a flutter at the track. It's so simple. Even you can have a go. Just run to the finish, make You're sure so you berating. You're meant to be my mate. You're meant to be helping me. Oh, we're off. You're meant to be my, like, support and my help here, but you're just sitting there going, yeah, even you can do it. <laughs> 
Sin, thank you for the like, my friend. Thank you for tuning in. Good to see you. We're just playing a bit of Tired Tasmanian Tiger, an old classic of mine. Trying to do a time trial currently. Oh no, not this bit. Oh God. I made it that time flawlessly. Obviously, that's how that happens. Here we go this way. This is quite a long one. I've got what? How long to go? I've got just over a minute to beat it. Hmm. See how we get on. Doing all right so far. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I miss the time trials that were a bit more fun, where it's like, race this person to the finish line. That was fun. Those were enjoyable. Yeah, I've clearly got some talent. Some. Like, just enough. Here we are. There's the ending. Plenty of time. What you talking about, Willis? Not bad at all. You've made it through in record time. Here's your thunder egg. Sweet. <clears throat> oh, Sin, thank you so much. <clears throat> no worries about not saying, though. Say, we've all got lives. We've all got things we're going on. But good to see you. Thanks for tuning in and giving us a like. Really helps. Um, and thank you, man. Really appreciate uh, you liking this. And yeah, I, I, I've missed seeing classic games on stream. Hence, hence we're now doing some of this. And plus, it was a nice relaxed game for me to do. But thank you so much for tuning in, mate. Really appreciate it. Um, I'll be tuning into your uh, your big stream next week. Uh, if you don't know, Sin has just reached 300 followers on Facebook Gaming, which is incredible. So congratulations, my friend. And he is doing a 24-hour charity live stream to celebrate so i would highly encourage you if you're not already following sin to follow him because he is incredible he's a good friend he's got a great voice and he plays some really fun games but he is yeah gonna be doing next sunday i believe it is doing a 24-hour live stream from this oh from the second to the third so saturday to sunday he's gonna be going for 24 hours so stop by, support him, support the charity. Uh, it's mental health related. I'm sorry, Sin, I'm, I, I don't know the charity off the top of my head. But it should be really, really good fun. I'll definitely be tuning into them. So I will see you then, my friend. Where am I? <laughs> Just did the race and I lost where I was. Back to the grind. I do not like what Streamlabs does to emojis in the chat because I can't tell what people's emojis are. <laughs> oh, there's one. Really obvious one I just missed. Well, that's the missing one. Right, so what else are we missing? We are missing that one golden cog, which we have to figure out. And we're missing five invisible boxes. Now... I am going to go back through and try and collect all the invisible boxes for the other levels that I've missed at some point. So I'm not overly concerned with not seeing them now. But as we're here, let's go back. The Mental Health Foundation. There we go. Thank you, Sin, for jumping in and let me know. So he's going to be doing a 24-hour live stream for the Mental Health Foundation, which is, of course, really incredible cause and something that's going to be really, really important during uh, these times. Obviously, while everyone's locked away, mental health is at quite a low point for a lot of people. Um, I, I don't know the stats, but I believe it's quite bad. So, yeah, go and support him there next Saturday and Sunday, the 2nd and 3rd of January. It should be a lot of fun, and I will definitely be tuning in and probably making some donations as well. And you're very welcome for the shout out, my friend. Really appreciate you. Thank you for inspiring a lot of us with taking... Uh, res responsibility for your mental health and you know taking the time out when you needed it doing a charity event like this and also just inspiring many of us uh, like myself to stream and get into this um, and supporting us as well through that rather than seeing it as competition and oh he's taking more of my people actually it's a 
collaborative effort. So really appreciate you stopping by, mate. Thank you so much. Right. Back to it. Oh, that's a big moon. I think if the moon was that big, we'd probably be in for some problems, wouldn't we? Steffi, you did stuff. You did stuff to do with science and geography. Surely that's not very good for the planet. Work with me. Yes, another lie. Thank you very much. This camera is not agreeing with me today. <laughs> You've been actually Googling how to get that cog. Bless you. Tsunamis everywhere. I mean, there may be some underwater ones, in fairness, like here that I've missed. Not here, but in this little bottom bit. But we'll see. So let me see if we can find any more of these invisible boxes quickly. Ooh, ow. I hit the waterfall. Didn't dive, I just hit the waterfall. Right, are there any invisible boxes underwater? Because that would be really sneaky, because it's all blue anyway. So let's just do a double check as we're here. Yeah, so nothing here. So the invisible boxes will all be somewhere in that main area, I suspect. Tsunamis everywhere. Oh, yeah, d d I'm literally in Burma. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah, very much like those old um, Gap Yar videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I'm literally in Burma. Uh, I'm kind of in prison. <laughs> oh, that was like old school YouTube. That was before YouTube was really a thing. When, um... It was basically just a place for viral videos went to YouTube and now it's this massive conglomerate of a of a website. It's incredible sort of how how things change over time. <laughs> Nothing here, but that's those stars are amazing. It'd be lovely if stars were like that. I don't think there's quite that many. Not that we can see regularly anyway. Right. We are back here. So, let us do a cheeky Google. There it is. It's in my recently searched because there are a few things in this game that make no sense. So, this is River. Bridge on the River Ty. Did the Opals, did the Bilbies, Cogs, Cogs, Cogs. So... Second area of the lever where you found Dennis. Yeah, climb the big tree. Left of Dennis. In the water under the second footbridge. Yeah. After three footbridges before the huge bridge, go right and jump on the platform. After the three footbridges. Yeah, but before the huge bridge, go right and jump onto the platforms over the water to the pillars with the golden cock. So it literally just says, just do it. So it's clearly meant to be doable. I'm clearly just not very good at it. But that's okay. Oh, flip. Oh, video game hotlines. Steffi, bless you, Steffi. You can hang on the right edge. Good to know. But you literally just have to do it. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. And no, Vanessa, you're absolutely right. I think with streaming and collector... I think particularly with collectathons. 
there's no shame in Googling and walkthroughs because I think otherwise you just end up doing sort of... Yeah, that wasn't the right-hand side. You end up doing some crazy stuff. But those video game hotlines, man, I never used them because my parents were super strict with the phone. I wasn't allowed to use the phone ever. And, like, if I ever was caught using the phone, particularly for a video game hotline, I'd be in big trouble because they were so expensive. But also, they would often not be very good. Or by people that had played or beaten the game ever. Ah! Come on. Come on, we can do this. We won't worry about the pictures, but we can do the cogs. Come on. Ah! Try... Try running faster. Yeah, no. <laughs> of course, Steffi. Why didn't I think of that? If only there was a faster run option. There is not. This is the fastest I can run. Don't slow down on the last one. Oh, you just mean just go for it rather than... So just do this. I'm not sure that's going to help me, but... No, Vanessa, you're absolutely right about those, um... Yeah, often they just had binders, didn't they, with the answers in. And it didn't really... Like, um, so, like, a, an issue like this, they may not have seen as an issue. They may have been able to tell you where to find it. You may have been able to find, like, where it is. And if you were stuck on finding it, maybe you'd have done it. But you weren't able to, um... Oh, goodness, this is becoming slightly tricky, but this is fine. So that right side, I was right, and I believe you can't... Oh, I just ran into the water then. Brilliant. Uh, let me see. Hmm. This is tricky, tricky, tricky. It is just a matter of angles. I don't know, I don't believe this will help, but the zoomerangs to me seem longer, so it seems like they would help me. <laughs> seems like they'd be able to hook better. I don't know. We'll see. Because it feels like, because it dips is what's letting me down, and like there, I just, it's not letting me hang on the edge. Hmm. Come on, last one. Let's do it. No, I hit the corner then. I think I, I'm going to try once more and try and go around to the sides. A bit more. Try gliding a bit more around the edge. Because I think part of the issue is I'm hitting the corner. Because it's a really badly placed, like, stone. Yeah, I think I'm meant to hit that side because that side looks flat. Let's have a look for a video. Let's see what we can find. Bridge on the River Tye, Golden Cogs. Don't care much for the audio. Right, so Golden Cogs. Where's number 10? I don't know, he's back at this point. Hmm, so that's that one. Yep, so that's that one. Here we go, right. So he just jumps. 
He jumps. What on earth? So he actually jumps from the middle. He doesn't jump from the end when it dips. So he jumps from about here and then glides. Because he gets higher. That's what it seems like. And then he does go around the side though. So he stops. He gets into the middle. Oh no, he doesn't jump from the side middle. He jump he he starts from the middle, runs to the edge so it doesn't dip too much. And then jumps to the side. So he starts from about here. And then jumps and just glides to the side and gets on. How weird. Yeah, I know. They're all using the flame orangs, but... So he kind of goes from here and then goes round. But I'm not getting the height that he's getting. Yeah. Because it's like... It feels like I should be able to go from here. Because he goes from here. and then, But he's getting way more height than I am. Or either that, like the platform seems lower on his for some reason. It doesn't seem to like line up visually to me. It seems like smaller and wider on his. It does seem lower down. I think it's higher. Because I think this playthrough is the original and it doesn't look the same to me. It actually does look higher. That's really strange. It does look like it's taller in this version, the remaster. But again, why would that happen? Because all they've done is changed the... Um... You know what? I might have to come back to this when I've got the freezer rang and see whether I can make my ice platforms just to make it that bit easier because I'm getting fed up with this. I just need to make a mental note that it finishes here. Is that the one I don't know if it's the one you sent. It's one that I found. It's not on the Steam community, so probably not. I just found my one on YouTube. So let me have a look at the one you sent. Yeah, no, this is the one. I believe it's the same one. Oh, no, it might, this might be different. Oh, yeah, this is different. Yeah, because this is the HD remaster. So, yeah, it is different. So, funnily, it is different from the, um... How are they getting so much height? Because it does definitely look different than, um... The original game. For sure. But how is he getting that much height? So, yeah, so he runs on. Run. Run. Yeah, he misses the first time. He just kind of jumps, hits the corner. Because he just kind of... does feel like they're getting higher and I don't know how they're doing that. He literally just hits, glides into that bit and hangs off the corner. So that's very strange. As I say, I believe when you get the freezer rings, you can cheat it. Um, so yeah, it feels like he's gliding into it and then hitting the spot, but I don't think. I mean. That was one of the mechanics of the freeze rang in the second game. This game's less familiar to me. So I'm less... I 
just, I don't know if I'm not gliding quick enough or if I'm like not getting the air. I just don't know. It feels, maybe I need to glide quicker. Because I felt like I got higher that time. So clearly I need to glide quicker. Right. I'm going to keep, I'm going to give this a couple more tries and see. Oh, that was almost it. I've not glide. I've not been gliding enough. I've not been gliding quick enough. I've been. You have to do it right at the peak of his apex of his jump. That nah, wasn't it. <laughs> nah, wrong side. Wrong side. I need to go around to that right hand side. Because now that I've kind of got the jump nailed. Yes! Come on! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Woo! Mama Sita! Booyah! Oh, I need a drink there. <laughs> My throat doing that. Good teamwork, guys. Well done. Appreciate appreciation to the chat for helping me out there and not getting fed up with me. But we are done with this level. We've done every collectible other than the pictures, which, to be fair, we haven't got any of the pictures in the other levels. So we will go back and do a picture collectathon for the end of the stream, probably, so we can go back and look through all the nice, pretty artwork. Oh. And breathe. Whoo! What are we doing for time? Got enough time for another level. We're one. Th we only need one. We're doing so well with collecting stuff. We only actually need one thunder egg. But we're gonna do out X of Aria. Good friend Shazza. Oh! I appear to have released. Lots of sand, red earth, and rock, and some more sand, and, and another rock, and more s <clears throat> Yes, it's glorious, all right. <sighs> hey, it's that ugly pig I killed. <sighs> You're gonna sit on that? Are you feeling all right, mate? Ah, oh, he's a big pussycat when you get to know him. Right, Ty? Yeah, right as rain. I'll use this, me lesser rain. Yeah, you know, that other boomerang we just have. So I am now riding a big pig, which has a mum tattoo. What's happening behind the scenes? Sorry, I dropped my controller. I accidentally, um... Tuck my legs underneath my seat, and by doing so, I released it and I started to sink. So I had to bring it back up and then recollect my controller. Ah, uh, right. So we are doing this. Shazaru. Hi, am I glad to see you? Can you help me out of a fix? We'll see. The emus from my health farm have gotten loose. Probably heading for Greasy Gus's hamburger shop again. Struth. Stroth, Last mate. time they ate at Gus's, I was sick for a week, poor things. I've tried to catch them before, but my old truck, it's just not fast enough. No worries. I'll reel right. in with this, me lesser ring. So we are... <sighs> I owe you one, possum. So we are... Oh, gosh. Okay, time limit. Oh, gosh. Was not expecting that. Oh no, okay, so that, that. I have to slowly reel. There we go, one. Oh gosh, I did not realise there would be a time limit on this. Flip me. We are suggesting that he is faster than a car. Right, where are the rest of them? I don't think they're this way. Oh, 
This is great music, this. Right, let's find some more of these emus. Oh, there's one. There you go, three. Oh, Ranger Ken is here as well. The old gang's back together. There's one. I see one off in the distance. Oh, two. Three. They're all around here. There we go. There's one. You. There's one over here. I saw one over this way. It's two over here. Fantastic. There you go, there's one, and then you. I don't understand how having a lasso on the end of your boomerang would work. Now I'd have to clean up that mess like last time. Please accept this for all your trouble. All right. All right, mate. Goodness gracious. Oh, time trial right from the beginning. Okay, Ty, you ready to tear up the road? Let's do it. Ooh, tra I thought you just said that your truck wasn't fast enough. So, what's that about? You lied to me, Shazza. You're meant to be my girl. She has fallen behind, but she keeps coming back. I don't understand. The mechanics of this boar thing are not great. He slides all over the place. And you're like, how are you sliding? You're a pig. The whole point is you're meant to have, like, good grip. That's what your trotters are for. Damn it, she's pulled ahead again. How? This is not fair. Come on. How is she? I don't. I can't. How am I meant to be that fast? Come on. Right. Her car has got to, like, break down or something because... There ain't no way I'm catching up to her. Yeah, her car is like rubber banding something fierce. Where suddenly she just gets fast. And then there are other times she just gets... No! Come on! Stupid tornadoes. Again, Steffi, what are the repercussions of having tornadoes that small just around the place? Oh, that was tight. Whoa, you beat me fair and square. You deserve this. grass! I mean, you're meant to be my friend. Why are you not just giving me these things? The fate of the world. Like, depends on this. Oh, goodness. Hello, cows. Oops, sorry. Sorry, everyone. Oopsie. 
Haven't quite got the hang of this thing. I don't understand what happened in that race. That was all over the place. Yeah, it's just all these things of like, you're my friend, the fate of the world is at stake here, and yet, I'm going to make you work for this. Let's go exploring, see what's around, collect some boxes, get some opals. I don't think there are any invisible, no, no invisible pictures on this one. Just because I can. I'm liking this sort of country vibe though. It's a bit more country than um I'd expect from Australia, but what you're gonna do. But yeah, what what would be the repercussions of having tornadoes like this? Bit of mild property damage, Steffi says. Oh really? Just proper okay, just mild. I feel like it's not a good thing, though. Let me out! Just wanted the box. Let me go! Ooh, golden cog. Lovely. Oh, I've not got the speed, apparently. To... There we go. Yeah, this guy handles awfully. Like, look at that sliding. Oh, Bilby, hello. Okay, so I can crack through those as well. That's good to know. And things might be hiding in them. Worth remembering. And it's one of those things, I raced her not really knowing the course, so I bet there are probably shortcuts I could have taken to make that less of a close victory. But, again, we're doing this my way. Everyone has storm cellars where they're common, so that makes sense. Ah, I did not realize that tiny tornadoes like that were real things. I always assumed they were just the massive tornadoes that we all see on TV and on the news. Oh, jumping. Oh, another golden cog. Lovely. Let's go this way. But also, that is a bumpy ass ride. Like, Ty is not going to be comfy on that. Oh, a life. Hello. Thank you very much. I saw something in you. Yeah, this can't be comfy for Ty. Because look at how much he's, like, bouncing up and down. Whee! Whoopla. But he's also so large that it doesn't take a lot just to hit the boxes, which is quite nice. Oh, in the water. Let's go around this bit quickly and collect some more boxes. Oh, there's an extra trail there. Interesting. I do not like the lasso rang, though. That seems dumb and gimmicky. Which I guess it is, and that's kind of the point. Let's just go around the rest of this section quickly, this water hole. Oh, you deaf mean big ones. They're commonish in the Midwest due to... Ooh! Geological circumstances. Not sure, click or I not see the more areas produced from the smaller ones in the change of climate. Well, there we go. Some, some science facts for you. We're all going to die because of climate change. Hooray! <laughs> nah, it's all good. Ooh. Just, there's a thunder egg there. Cool. Fine, I'll take that. I'm impressed with your knowledge, Vanessa. Mm 
Right, so up into this bit. Which is apparently like another trail of some kind. Oh. Just this a level. Be the or best I think. little water in all, mate. It had mate. crystal clear drinking water and was a great place for a bit of a paddle. Right, so what happened to it? Uh, that Galar boss Cass decided Galar. to make a nice well named episode. waste dump. I don't know how, Ty, but we have to stop those pumps. I love that I can pick yes or no. Top bloke, top bloke mate. Just top bloke, mate. Out for those rotten frill lizards. Okay, so what am I doing? Hey, mate, maybe you should aim at those pipes. Okay, so I am just using normal boomerangs now. That's nice. Come on, you frills and your stupid, stupid hazmats. Boom, boom, you're good. I was going to say, surely breaking the pipes isn't going to help, but I guess we're just um, shrinking the outlet. On your mate, you did it. <laughs> Look at those beautiful animals. It's moments like these that make me proud to be a ranger. Oh, look at him, he's so happy. <sighs> I want you to have this. Sorry, mate. I've got something in my eye. Oh, bless him. Ah, yes, mate. Don't don't care about you, mate. Vanessa, I'm a Jill of all trades and master of none. But did you know the end of that phrase? Actually, I love it. I actually really love the jack of all trades phrase because everyone just goes, "Oh, jack of all trades, master of none." It means you're not very good at anything. You're kind of do a little bit of everything, which in my line of work is literally what I do. And sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. But the end of that phrase, which I love, is Jack of all trades, master of none, but better that than being a master of one. So it's actually promoting the idea that we are, you're better to be multi-skilled than individual. So there you go. Oh, that is compressed and tinny as all heck. Jeepers. That was nasty roar from the pig then. Oh, more boxes under the waterfall. Collect you, because otherwise... I'll forget about you, and that'll be annoying. Where are we at with our opal counter? Ah, oh, I didn't move myself. I was meant to move myself down so you could actually see the opal counter. Oh, well. I forgot my um, system forgot to do that. I guess I moved it back for crash. It's only opals. It's only the opal counter I think you miss by being up there. It's fine. Oh, oh, okay. So don't bash into those. Got it. Oh, another bilby. There we are then. There's another cog. Lovely. I'm trying to figure out which way I should go. Because now, let's say, I'm sorry guys, you can't see because I messed up where my face cam is. You know what, actually, it's a stream. I can move where my face cam is. So... If I, although, if I put you down at the bottom, because I've just realised that's where the golden cogs show up. So, actually, that would be dumb as well. So, let's not do that. That would be really silly of me. Ugh, there's just no winning on this game. There's no good place to put the camera. Because you either end up blocking the opals, or you end up blocking the golden cog counter. There's 
all a little bit all over the place, but that's okay. I'll just inform you as to where we are. We're currently at 224 opals of 300, so we are almost there. There we go, take a life. 12 lives, people. We're doing well. I think I only died once in this game so far, which for me is impressive. One problem with this music, I love it. I absolutely do adore it, but they clearly didn't create many um, loops for it. So it clearly is, um, like it doesn't loop very much. It clearly just kind of goes round and for like a couple of times, which means that every minute you're getting, like every few minutes you're getting the same riffs. Right, there was an exclamation mark there when I was behind by this thing. Just when I thought I could have a nap, trouble stirs up again. Woo! Shizer, we like trouble. Afternoon rounds, but I saw a gang of frills heading after her. Do you think you could go and take care of those hooligans? Of course, Maury. Nah, I don't really fancy it. Yeah, of course, oh, I can. That's the spirit, mate. That's the spirit, okay. mate. All you have to do is knock. Frills off their bikes before they reach Shazza. It's almost like I know you're going to give me a thunder egg. I am just destroying everything. Where are these frills? All right, so one's behind me. Oh no, that's Shazza. My goodness. Okay, sure. Goodness, okay. Where is Shazza gone? I've lost her. Crap. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? There he is. Right, we're back on track. This does not control very well. Like, I don't know what... It's, I don't really know if I'm meant to be hitting them with my boomerang or running into them. Goodness gracious me, right. So Shazza has taken some damage because I lost track of her. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> Um, now is not the time for your golden cog dance, Ty. Okay, well, that seems to be all of them. That was weird. I didn't like that one. Both do seem to be working, so I'm just going to carry on. Now, we've made it back to the beginning, so is that it? Unreal, yeah. Ty. You showed those frills a thing or two. By the way, one of them dropped this. Oh, you beauty. Yeah, beauty. Take another one of those. Yeah, there's no way Maury's doing it. If I said no to that, there was no way Maury was going to do it. Right, there's, so we're missing the bilbies. You can't see, so I'm sure 51 opals. We're missing the bilbies. We are missing collecting all 300 opals, obviously. And firefight. So we need three more bilbies, some more opals. So let's use the map and actually use it properly. Oh, there's a box hiding away in the corner there. Oh, a couple boxes there. Here we are, lovely. Two, five, two. That is in the middle of the road. That is not fair for anyone. Rah! Stop it. Could go out this way. 
Ah, uh, here we go. This is the section I missed. Alright, let's have a look at what else is around here. Another golden cog. Lovely. Oh, uh, yeah. There's, um... Rex there, so we'll handle you in just a second. I'm just going to explore this and get all the boxes. I love that the sheep and the foxes and things don't take any initiative and go, oh, this is my chance to get away. Another golden cog. Lovely, lovely, lovely. hearing something as if something's being thrown at me, but I can't tell. Sounds like something is being thrown at me. Piece of pie. Lovely. Life in there, I think. Yeah, another life. 13 lives. Some might call that unlucky, but in my eyes, it's all good right now. There's a Bill B. So we are seven boxes short right now because I think each box is one opal. Well, let's do Rex's mission anyway because we've kind of done everything in that bit. So let's do this. Firefighting. It's a real scorcher today and a few spot fires have broken out. And that is a real problem in Australia, particularly recently. Every time I try to put out a fire, one of those thrills gets in the way. Can you lend me a hand, mate? Let me think about that. Yeah, why not, mate? There's enough water in those towers to douse the planes. Okay. There you go. See, they just need a big pig in Australia. That's all they need to solve the issue. Oh, this is the house on fire, so I now have to hit you. No, I've not got enough speed. Oh, so they were the things that were... Like, I heard the sound of them throwing things. Bam! Take that! And into you! That was a ripper of an end. <laughs> that was easy. Now handle those thrills and save the town without breaking a sweat. You deserve a medal. In fact, you deserve better than that. Apparently, a thunder egg's better than a medal. Who knew? It was completely overshadowed by COVID. Hardly feels like it happened at all this year. You're absolutely right. There's a lot of things that happened this year that people don't realize. And I personally forget as well. Because, as you say, it was all overshadowed by COVID. Particularly the um, uh, like the forest fires and stuff. Massively overshadowed. So my fear is that it's going to be odd little outliers like that box. Because we are six boxes short. So it's either going to be a collection of boxes... Or it's going to be, how are we for cogs? We're missing one cog and two bilbies. There we go. There's one bilby. And we're now missing four boxes. Bum, bum. Oh, there's the Bilby. Boom. Under the waterfall. Oh, we're nearly there then. So we've got all the cogs. We just need 300. Op oh, no, we haven't got all the cogs. We're one. We need one cog and four more boxes. And then we've gotten everything we need from this particular level. I can't go down there. So there's nothing there. Okay, fine. 
Right. So, and I can't go up this part of the waterway, so we have to go round to check that bit. Problem is, it feels like such a maze, this place, that I get so confused as to where I have and haven't double-checked. Yell if you see a yellow box somewhere. Or a shed that I can take down. Let's just recheck all of this area first. We need a, a shed, which will uh, which will probably contain a cog, and four more boxes. That last question mark is just uh, the opal. So that's the opal collection point. So when I get all the op all 300 opals, I can drop those off at the fountain where that question mark is and should, oh, should be grand. Nothing around here. Double check all these sort of bits, nothing here. Let's go around this bit. Proper outback. Around this bit. <laughs> yeah, no, I, to be fair, I didn't clock it to begin with. I went, oh, wait, that's where the fountain... It was only one time where I was looking for the fountain because I couldn't see it. I was like, oh, it's there. Nothing around the back here, no. Because I couldn't remember where the fountain was. Because sometimes they're at the end of levels. But with a level like this, it's n there's no end to the level. And so therefore, it's not always in the same sort of place. Yeah, nothing here. Let's go up the mountain and have another look. So, we need one more, like, shed... Which will contain the golden cog, probably. It's unlikely just to be out and about. And then we need one... Uh, is it? Four more boxes. So this leads you up to this bit. And I assume if you don't... If you don't make the jump, you... Um, you just fall into the river bit below. Ah! You sneak into the box. So there's one, and there's the golden cog. Come on. Sneaky, sneaky. So now we're just short three boxes. So where are these? I'm going to guess these are probably just three individual boxes hiding somewhere. Rather than um, special boxes. Like a, a group of boxes. It's probably going to be three individual boxes. Got to double check. Got to go over where I've already been. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. And we're so nearly at the seven, seven o'clock mark. The two hour mark. Which would be perfect timing. Because then, at the start of the next one, we can take on a boss. Right, we're going back round again. We're going to look for more boxes. Because again... Oh, no, that didn't go well. But it's like, I don't know if I... Like, some of these hills I can climb and some of them I can't. So it's like, could it be on that hill? Maybe. Oh, gosh. Sorry. My bad. I'm just breaking everything now to see whether I can actually do anything about them. Because you don't know. If you don't break it, you don't know if anything's going to happen. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be any boxes around here. I'm already going back on myself, Stephanie. What do you think I was doing? Wasn't having a jolly. Mm -hmm. 
And it, I dislike the fact there's like these hay bales because they look like boxes. Like I can't jump onto that middle island. Not that there's anything there anyway, because that's quite open. So I should be able to see if that was there. So again, so we're back at the beginning now. I really cannot see anything. I remember this one being a real pain, actually, when I did it the very first time I played. Being really tricky to actually find all of the, um, the boxes. Oh, I've got caught in the tornado. So, not the worst thing, but it's just not ideal. So all these bits are hay bales. But I can climb on those bits, but I can't climb on all the bits. It's just... Oh, goodness. The exclamation point billboards are either... Um, oh, well, there's one. Oh, no, that was a hay bale. The exclamation what billboards are either, like, hints to, like, oh, you can use the triangle button to do this. Or they are missions, so I have done all of those big exclamation billboards. But I can't climb up to here. I'm so sure it's not on the mountain. Oh, that thumping of his walk is annoying. Maybe these three are in a group somewhere and I've just totally missed it. But I've explored everywhere there is to explore. So, unless there's something I'm missing. But I don't think I am. Like, it'll be something typical like, oh, you can only hit these with your lasso ring from a distance somewhere. So, you come up here. There's nothing, like, around here which I can hit. So, oh come on! I hate the f I hate it when this happens, where it's just like the last thing is really difficult. It's the same with the cog last time. It's just that, oh, try and try again. It's not most interesting thing to watch. It's just I just I just wanna I just wanna have them. I want it to be finished now. Wrap it up rather than it being one of these scavenger hunts looking for the last three flipping boxes. Because I cannot see them anywhere. Let's go back up the mountain again. But I don't see where there would be to get them up on this mountain. Like, I don't know where they were because I hit everything up here. Yeah, there's nothing like here. And falling down is just going to take me into the main main bit. I got the special, the secret hidden ones that were like there. Yeah, that's just our um, watering bit down at the bottom, which we're heading to anyway. Hmm. Because it's one of those things where so much is breakable. It's hard to say whether it's like hidden behind something that's breakable that I've just not broken. 
Hmm. I do not have a flipping clue where these boxes would be. Nothing behind these houses hidden away. Because it feels like it'd be something like, oh yeah, there are just three boxes behind this house that everyone always misses. I'm just not seeing anything. Not like up one of those things. I have no flipping clue where this is. I feel like it's going to be in one of these little side tufts or something. Again, it's figuring out which ones are. So, like, there, you think, yeah, that could have been it, but it was just hay bales. Oh, goodness gracious me. Again, checking back at the beginning, but I don't believe there's anything here. I'm hitting all the hay, just so I'm not confused with anything else that might be yellow. Oh gosh, I broke that house as well. Sorry, Stephanie. So there's three pretty well hidden boxes in the area where you chase the emus near the town. Some boxes are behind a metal shed on the left hand side of the pool area facing the waterfall. Uh, in the area where you chase the emus. So this is the area where I chase the emus. Some boxes behind a metal shed on the left hand side of the pool area. A box after jumping the gap spiral path. Yep, so we got that one. Some boxes in a metal sh metal shed on the path that you initially take for the escort mission. Start on the left. There are a few on the starting area and some more on the sides. When you leave, retrace the escort path. Shazza can break a box. Shazza can break a box and leave the opal there. It's hard to find sometimes. Job. Yeah, so that's not actually going to let me do the, the mission again. So it's this one. So sometimes, apparently, Shazza breaks a box. Apparently, sometimes Shazza can accidentally break the box and leave the opal lying around. Which is an interesting idea. Let's check by the waterfall, by the pool area. What did it say? Facing the waterfall on the left hand side by the pool area. Yeah, unfortunately, I do think I got these ones. none over in that corner either. Hmm. 
Nothing over here. Okay, so none by the waterfall. There's some pretty well hidden ones. Three pretty well hidden boxes in the area where you chase the emus near the town. Which is where I am now. Ah! Hurrah! Huzzah! 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 Three well-hidden boxes near the town. Oh, goodness gracious. We got there. Her flipping raw. We went past those how many times? But there we are. The last thunder egg of this zone. Let us find the exit. Uh, not that way. The exit's around this way. Let us find the exit and head back to Rainbow Cliffs. And this level, we won't have to retrace because there aren't any invisible things. So we literally, I believe, got everything for this level. Which is great. I appreciate the fact you say you won't hold it against me, Stephanie. Because, you know, I'm literally going to come off this and sit with you in the living room. So, I would really hope you wouldn't hold it against me. You won't be disappointed in my lack of gamer skills. I appreciate Vanessa not holding it against me as well, of course. Oh, here we go. And that is perfect timing because it is now exactly 7 o'clock. So, let's just get back. Let us... Uh, we won't go to Julius just because I'm worried that that's going to send me straight into a boss battle. Which we will do at the start of the next episode. Or the next stream. Whatever we want to call this. It will be next time. But thank you so much for tuning in once again. This has been really, really fun. I think we probably got one more episode, one more stream of Crash left. Um, again, depending on what we decide to do. So, we will see how that goes, but we've got another good few episodes of this coming up. I'm really, really enjoying this. Despite the few little nicks of I don't know where this thing is, I am really enjoying it. I hope you guys are as well. After that, there's a little indie game that I've seen poking around that I'd be really interested to try, so I might have a look at that. But we will see. Uh, we will be back to our normal schedule next week. Uh, it's been a bit odd because of Christmas and stuff, but we will be back on Wednesday and then again on Saturday at 5 p.m. for both. That is the plan. Um, I will let you know if anything changes or if I decide to add any more streams. But that is the current plan for next week. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. Really appreciate you taking the time to come and see me. As I also said, next weekend, Sin is going to be doing his... Uh, stream for the Mental Health Foundation, which is going to be some incredible fun and, you know, raise money for a really good cause. So I'd encourage you to tune in there as well. I'm sure he would appreciate the support. But that is going to be it from me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Ta-ta for now.